Welcome back. I want to talk to you about Easter, whether or not it's pagan or it's Christian. And I'll tell you right now that Easter is a pagan celebration. Just like Christmas, it was adopted by the Catholic Church and introduced into uh, the Christian religion or the Christian belief. And so, as since it was incorporated into the mainstream Christianity, we know that everything we have now basically came through Catholicism or came out of Catholicism, and now we're trying to sift through and get it right. Because contrary to popular belief, Easter is not a Christian celebration. It is not a Christian holiday. It is of pagan origins. And so I want to bring that information to you right now, and I hope that you will accept it, and I hope that you will pay attention, and I hope that you would even do research to find out whether or not what I'm saying to you is so, okay? Because Easter represents the uh, fertility goddess Ishtar of Babylon and Assyria, also a counterpart of Astart, the Phoenician god. The story goes like this. Tammuz an ancient nature deity was worshipped in Babylonia, a god of agriculture, and he possessed the creative powers of spring. According to legend, he was loved by Ishtar, who became grief-stricken at his death, that she devised a plan to go into the underworld and bring him back. Now, another legend has it that she killed him and later restored him to life. And so a yearly celebration of death and rebirth of vegetation was practiced by the Greeks, which worshipped Adonis, along with the Phoenicians, while the Phrygians worshipped Addis, the Sumerians worshipped Damuzi. This is another name for Tammuz, the same god that uh, Ezekiel 8 verse 14 speaks of. Okay, you can check that out. It's a false god. And they were worshipping Tammuz in Ezekiel 8 verse 14. Now, in the book of Acts, of Acts 12 verse 4, the King James authorized version, Tyndale and Coverdale Bible, it speaks of Easter, which is a mistranslation. That word Easter should have never been uh, in our Bible, it's a mistranslation. Uh, the word, uh, what it was referring to is Passover and not Easter. I believe that it, it might have been placed there intentionally to sway the minds of people because if the Catholic Church is bringing in Easter into the mainstream Christian belief, then they certainly would probably put that word in the Bible to legitimize it and make people believe that if it's in the Bible, then it's legit. It is not legit. It's not supposed to be there. Again, it's a mistranslation. Now, this passage is referring to the Passover festival, including the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and does not speak of a yearly celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus celebrated Pasch, or Pesach, Matthew 26, 17-30, the Hebrew word for Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Now, Pascha, which is Latin, or Pascha, P-A-S-K-H-A, is Greek, is the word that should have been used in this passage in Acts and not Easter. It might be that, again, it was done intentionally to give legitimacy to the pagan practice. Okay? Now, and since it's in the Bible, I guess a lot of Christians believe, well, if it's there, then it was placed there uh, by God, or God somehow ordained it to be there. Uh, this is, I believe, the work of the enemy to try and infiltrate the church and the true practice and the true belief and the true worship of the festivals that God has um, told the Israelites that they should keep, um, which is Passover, uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread, and those, those festivals and those feasts that should be kept, that Jesus kept. And I believe that we should most likely be keeping also, which we are not doing. Okay, now the church today 
again, I just mentioned it does not keep the celebration of the Passover. As they did in the third and the fourth centuries, okay, because when they, the Jews came out of Egypt, they were instructed to keep the Passover, and from then on, they have been doing so. Uh, Jesus did that, that very same week that Jesus was crucified. That is what he did in the upper room. He had that meal. It was the Passover meal that he had with his disciples. And he said, do this as often as you can in remembrance of me. So I guess not only on the Passover, but more on a, on, on a, a more um, regular basis, he was saying to do it. Now, I want you to look at the calendar for 2016. Uh, you will find that Passover is observed in uh, April. I think either the 22nd or the 21st of April is uh, the Jewish Passover, which the Jewish uh, people will be celebrating. Now, it's so funny that we celebrate Easter. Easter is uh, celebrated in March, right around the same time that the... the, the um, well, right around the same time with Good Friday. The church is celebrating Easter right around the same time with Good Friday. Now, if we're supposed to be celebrating the Passover, which Jesus did, and it was the time that he died, why is it that we're celebrating Easter? We're not supposed to be celebrating Easter, which is a month away. And Passover is now April 22nd, and the church is not celebrating Passover. So something is wrong here, and something needs to be addressed. And the church, or the leaders of the churches, need to take a, a, a closer look at the truth and what we have been given, what's been handed down through Catholicism, and what we need to sift through, what we need to throw out. And because we need to celebrate the things that God has ordained for us to celebrate, and not the traditions of men. The tradition of, of men has to go. I know the Catholic Church believes that its teaching is paramount to God uh, being on earth and believe that everything that they teach is right, but they cannot change the word of God that, as they have been trying to do over the centuries and to come up with their own um, belief system and have everybody else go along with it when it's against the word of God. It goes totally against what the word of God says, and it's time for us to reject it and throw it out and get back center and start looking at this thing from a, a, a Jewish Christian point of view and start getting it right. Because I believe that God is not pleased that we have thrown aside his festivals and feasts and have adopted uh, the traditions of men. Okay? So we are, as the church, are supposed to be celebrating Passover. We're supposed to be celebrating the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Jesus is the uh, Passover lamb, and we know that. Uh, even the, the teaching of, of, of Good Friday is, is questionable at best uh, because if he's talking about three days and three nights in the earth or three, you know, being of, or in a grave or being dead, then from Friday to Sunday, you don't have three days and three nights. Okay, so there's a lot of things to look into. Uh, we're talking about a high holy day uh, to Sabbath that week when Jesus was crucified, I believe that there were two Sabbaths. There was a high holy day, which doesn't happen very often, but there was a high holy day that year and that particular week. So I believe that there was a Sabbath on Wednesday and there was a regular Sabbath on Friday. Okay, you can look into those things. I'll come back at another time and we'll get into this stuff, but I'm just putting it out there that I believe that a lot of this is what we follow, which came from Catholicism, is totally incorrect. It's time for, for us to get it right. It's time for us to follow the truth and not the traditions of men. Okay? So, even like the uh, Seventh-day Sabbath, which was changed to Sunday, I believe that's, again, that's the work of the Catholic Church, which changed the seventh day to the first day of the week. Now, it says that the women went to the grave to, to, with spices to anoint the body of Jesus, and he was not there. He was already risen. I uh, was told to them by the, um, by the angel that he is not here, but he is risen. Why do you seek 
you know, the living among the dead. But he is not dead. Okay? And there is nothing to say that he arose on the first day of the week. They went on the first day of the week to seek him. But I believe that he will, he arose on the Sabbath. I believe that on that seventh day, um, I believe that he arose. He is Lord of the Sabbath and he said it. There's so much that we need to look into. There's so much that we need to pull apart. So much that we need to decipher because we have gotten a, a, a bill of goods that was rotten. And now we need to go through and throw out the stuff that is not correct, that is not scriptural, it's not biblical. It is Catholic Church teaching, you know, Lent and all this other stuff that uh, some observe. I don't believe that we should even be going through all of that. You know, but again, that came through the church and we have accepted it wholesale. And as we come out from under the lies that has been given to us by Catholicism, I pray that we will come out totally I find and I see that even in the church and even in some of the black churches that they have, um, you know, find the, the office of the bishop is okay, but you're talking about archbishop and cardinal and stuff. This is Catholic stuff. This should not be in the church. This should not be in the church. Why are we adopting these things? They're not even scriptural. They're not even scriptural. But yet we are bound. Our eyes are closed. Our eyes are closed. And we cannot see the truth for the, the huge lie that is sitting in front of us. I pray that, you know, that people would wake up and start looking at this stuff, you know. Because uh, I believe that we need to get back to the word of God. We need to get back to the truth of God. We need to celebrate the Passover and those things that Jesus celebrated and his disciples celebrated. He never said not to commemorate his death but he also never said not to worship on the sabbath day and i do worship on sunday but i'm myself i'm looking into the fact that this thing was changed and how can we get back to the truth and get back to doing it god's way so i pray that i've given you some information a uh, food for thought easter is pagan it is not christian it's pagan it is not christian Look into these things, okay, and, and make decisions for yourself, but don't go down the road wholesale following man's tradition. I believe we have to answer to God when we know the truth. When we have found out the truth, we have to answer to God, okay? Even, even, even with the crucifixion, I believe that Jesus was most likely crucified um, sometime between uh, Wednesday and Thursday, not Friday. Again, you don't get three days and three nights out of what we, we celebrate, which is Good Friday and um, even this Resurrection Sunday. I don't believe he was raised on Sunday. So until next time, I pray that God will bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you, be gracious unto you, lift up his countenance upon you, and give you his peace. Shalom.